Spending one thousand dollar on Discord bot. Thousand dollars. You can Ooh, get a lot, that's a lot of money. But the most widely hated Discord bot, Me Six, is charging one thousand dollars for you to use their bot. But I'll be honest. Out of me, I think I have Me Six on block list for so long. Until I started using it myself, I removed the block, but uh, but I removed all of the annoying functions it had in my server and just used like the useful ones. But the thing is that Me Six is maybe the most spammy and annoying bot there ever is. Is Me6 seriously doing this, or will Me6 do something unexpected? So on Tuesday, it's a January bot. 23rd, I was just doing like, my normal daily routine. It does like a lot of routine, things. Way too many things. My grandma in the hospital and browsing Reddit. When I came across this r slash Discord app post about Me6 and how they're planning to add add-ons to their subscription. Add -ons. Now, if you don't know what Me6 is, I have a quick recap of all the Me6 lore if you aren't a chronically online Discord user, but Me6 is the most hated bot Oh, you can Discord. use Me6 and for free. That? Well, Me6 used to have a bunch of cool free features, but mm. now if you look at Me6 right Right now, almost every single feature on this stinking bot requires you to have premium. Which That's how it happens. Like they, most of their feature, they worked for like for free and now they're cost like a money thing. It's because everybody started using it, right? So why would they, like the way you kind of spread this is that you have a really good bot and everybody start using it. And then you start adding new feature and lock them behind paywall. And then you take some of the good feature people had before and minimize the effect of it, or just entirely change it to a business model. That's how they, that, that's how they get you. But the problem is that usually people make a, a replacement model for it. Just completely ridiculous. You can basically that's how you run use business. Yeah. for like two to three things. Exactly. So after ignoring a call from my mom about something about my grandma's last words, I also stumbled across this r slash discord app post by Woofer talking about the shameful state by of Woofer. Me6. Now, I'm going to let you go into my brain for a second because I was a little bit shocked. If it isn't obvious, this post is criticizing Me6, but Woofer210 used to be a Me6 volunteer. So if a volunteer is saying that me six is in a shameful state things have to be bad and good golly they were because let me introduce you to the new me six premium plan if you want lifetime premium for me six it is 60 euros if you want automations it's 59 euros invite tracker uh, it keeps on going what basically the? every single the worst thing is that a lot of these features are done by other bots like for free Single one of Me6's features is an add-on that you have to pay money for, and thankfully there's a two cent discount. And guess how much all these plugins cost? Two cents well, discount? Really low value of 884. Oh, that's a steal! Everybody should buy this. We need to get this on our server. Euros wow, that's, a, that's really cents cheap. Euro cents, whatever the heck it is. Holy. And that translates to 960 US dollars. That's a lot I of money. Up to thousand dollars for my convenience and saying Bro, look at the value but just going that's down. That's for the lifetime plan. And to be honest, paying a thousand dollars for a Discord bot is a, is, is a pretty rough. Uh, that's, that's a really big dumb. Hit wallet. So maybe you want to do a monthly subscription. And it turns out the add ons alone are $130 a month. $130? Subscriptions. I'm staring at my monitor right now. I have no idea what to say. I'm kind of just speechless. Now, before Me6 decided to charge you $1,000 for a Discord bot, which is 200 Big Macs, all of these features used to cost before this update a one. You know, I like that he said that. It's like 200 Big Macs, because that's kind of like, you know, I don't know if I'm weird for this, but often whenever I see an item or I see someone like something I can purchase online, I think to myself, yeah, but how much money, how much food could I get for that money? Like, is that item worth than, than getting these kind of meals? I kind of think that way. Because I feel like, what the hell are we living for, man? We're living to fucking enjoy ourselves a little bit, right? And I'm thinking that, is this like, is, is this like item that is online, that is not in my hand in any sort of way? Is this worth actually then just buying myself like a fucking good like getting some Wagyu beef or getting some kind of high quality meat or high quality vegetables and get like some real good food. Is it really worth it or what? $90, which is- I use the kebab conversion. Oh, how many kebabs you can get? Yeah, that's a good one too. <laughs> Pretty high price, but it's ninety dollars for everything. This ninety dollars subscription magically turned into a thousand. Two hundred big you know, Me six is accounting for inflation. Dude, I got a, an ironic question. Like, do you guys think Big Mac is good? Because I feel like Big Mac is such a basic burger. Like, I, every time I went to McDonald's, I would get the, the cheeseburger or double cheeseburger. I feel like it's it costs so much. I do. You like it. Because like drinks, it's like the, the sauce is such a such a generic 
It's such a generic like burger sauce, right? I mean, it's all right. It's a good burger. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm saying it's not worth to go to McDonald's just to get a Big Mac. I felt like whenever I was younger, dude, I used to love the the cheeseburgers there. The cheeseburger was like $1. And double cheese was like $2 or something. Like that was fucking getting like a, when I was a kid, dude, getting f uh, three cheeseburger for three dollars man that was a that was a fucking heaven i mean the big max in norway is the second most expensive in the world too oh yeah oh yeah you maybe that's what we have like that kind of conversion but i think big macs are so expensive and it's not really worth it for what you're getting because the generic sauce is like you get out everywhere it's like the most basic burger to dressing ever but yeah I usually, I'm going to be honest, I think yeah, if you go to McDonald's, the wraps uh, and the burgers were really good. I don't know about the rest though. Fries, everybody loves the fries, but uh, I haven't had those fries in ages. And last time I did have them, they were cold and they weren't really that good. And the economy's bad. They're not worth the price, Boomer, you're right, I'm yeah. basically like an old grandpa talking to you about the economy. Because the thing is that in Norway, you can get, what is that? That's nearly as much as you could buy, like, a proper proper burger, right? So... Ever. Depression art coming in pretty good, YouTube. Burger King? But I do have I'm to there agree. my place. Burg is accounting for I'm stopping too much and talking about burgers and food. I'm gonna be honest, Burger King cheeseburger used to be so fucking amazing. It used to be so good. I don't know how it is now. I think I had it for, like, four years ago. I had a Burger King cheeseburger and it sucked. It sucked so much. It was so bad. You know, the normal inflation of 1,011%, which is in fact higher than the inflation of Venezuela. Venezuela Although, again. Is not a winner here. I do have to say that Zimbabwe is still taking first place with their 89.7 sextillion percent year on year inflation rate. Best I'm burger. Only I've never had a Whopper so before. Sextillion. Anyway, but I mean, six, get your numbers up. But honestly, jalapenos are delicious. Really makes My country from number the one. Eyes of the yeah. Co owners. Because what I think happened is they decided to go to college and they went into an intro to market marketing course and realized there's something called add-on sales. This is the first Google result I looked for. Where basically, instead of charging a lifetime subscription with a whole bunch of things included, why don't you just charge less and then make people pay more for add-ons? Yeah, Maybe you're just good idea. To imitate what BMW did, where they're trying to have a heated seat subscription where you have to pay a subscription to have heated seats. That is insane. Which already exist in your car. Thankfully, BMW that is has insane. a brain. Now I'm going to be honest with you. Spending $1,000 on a Discord bot seems so so absurdly stupid. I actually like when I saw this, I was like, okay, this has to I be. I like a my joke. chicken burgers. Oh, yeah, the chicken burgers Half are good. On this we have something in our, like, nut. this is the last time I'm saying anything about McDonald's or food, but we have something uh, here called chicken salsa. It's like this fried chicken burger, or it's this chicken sandwich. It's not a chicken burger, it's a chicken sandwich with nacho chips, mayo, and salsa. And it's so good, dude. It's it, it's so good. I don't know how it is now. I've not had it in a long time, but it used to be really good. Sense. So I had to get to the I made my of own this though. by going to the Me6 <laughs> server. With the habanero so dressing account, instead. I joined the Me6 server. It turns out I'm banned on my main account. So then Lamau. I go on another alt account. I joined the Me6 server. I'm banned. also banned. And by the way, I did change my IP. And oh, another alt account. He's banned. I tried joining Me6 and I'm also banned. If Damn. it wasn't clear, you must Me6 really doesn't like off. me for calling out their bullcrap. Oh but yeah, you're really pissed off. Nothing is stopping yeah. one of my viewers from giving me a Discord account, which allowed me to join the Me6 support Discord server to figure out whether or not this whole Reddit post was a lie and i just want to make it super clear please do not harass anyone in the server now despite all that though this discord server is filled Ew. with absolute gold for example this user here is basically we don't have kfc in my country unfortunately yes it will cost you 60 cost too much to money to me or, oh, what's that 90 dollars to change the name of the bot Whew, what an absolute steal and another person was so confused that wait they actually what the name of the bot Whew. ninety dollars to change the name of the bot are you insane? Bruh! What an absolute steal. And another person was so confused that they actually pinged someone wow. to ask if it's a bug. <clears throat> and here is our official Me6 response. I will answer your question. It is indeed correct. The premium package and purchasing options can change over time. And the Me6 team keeps working on providing the best, val best I value. I can't say that with a straight face. Me6 wants uh -huh. to provide the best value for users. Best you value, baby. $1, yeah, $1,000 $1, best value, baby. Team to keep the bot it's stable worth it. and reliable for millions of users. 
features, improving existing features and developing new ones. What is going on? But this was just from a moderator. I wanted to hear something from someone a little bit more official, higher up in the ranks. Mm. It turns out Alex here is talking about the value proposition of this new subscription. Here you don't miss anything. You get the full premium plugins for $49.99 yearly. Ooh. And by that, does he mean every single one of these premium plugins in the Mi 6 bot? No! Not at all. It turns out the difference in the pricing model is that you get five essential plugins, which are these plugins up here. These essential plugins are going to change the way of Discord. <laughs> this is an essential welcome plugin. Welcome and goodbye. You mean the thing? You mean the thing that Discord does for you automatically itself? A welcome channel. Reaction rolls. That's the thing nearly every bot has. Mod oh god. You have reaction rolls. This is such a nice scam. This is like snake oil. And the, you know the worst part about this? There are probably a fuck ton of people that buy this. They just don't do their research and find the free option that is literally everywhere. And they just go for it. Places. You have moderator, which every other Discord bot has for free because it's a basic feature. And then you have levels. You it's basically get scam, one yeah. good feature for $50. But Me6 does say that, yes, if you add more add-ons on top, it does become more expensive. As in $900 more expensive. <laughs> the Me6 team has genuinely lost their marbles. They're on a whole different stratosphere of delusion. Because here's the real reality of the situation in Me6. Me6 used to run an NFT server service, which they completely canceled, and they basically screwed over $3 million from their very valued customers. They have $3 million, and now they're trying to charge you $1,000 to use the Discord bot. How do you God damn, they're rich. Dollars? It, this was 11 months ago. And to be fair, there's nothing wrong with having a premium subscription. It All costs in? money to run yeah. a Discord bot. That is a fact. And for $90 for a lifetime no subscription, shame. it is expensive for what you get, but it's in a realm of reality. But charging people a thousand dollars for the exact same product is ridiculous maybe because the co-founders are millionaires they don't understand the value of a thousand dollars but i will tell you how much a thousand dollars can buy you i do all my work in davinci resolve a professional video editing piece of software it costs three hundred dollars if you want to sound better than i sound right now you could get a sure sm7b which is five hundred dollars and with the rest of that money you could also buy uh, we're gonna skip that tab but with all of this money that microphone is increasing a lot a lonely this degenerate a lot. YouTuber, which is way better value than spending all this money on a Discord bot. They made $3 million and they're so out of touch with reality that they think normal people in this day and age would spend $1,000 on a Discord bot. No one has $1,000 to spend, period. Oh, and by the way, everything that this Discord bot does, you can do yeah, for I think it's only Adobe that's subscription a subscription base. Later. But I want to talk about a plot twist. I have the this Sony Vegas lifetime. There's a little bit of a saving grace because when I went on Me6's website, right? Right now and I tried to upgrade to premium you will notice that I don't have any add-ons I have just one now I'm doing this on my fresh new alt account but I did it on every single one of my discord accounts and I could not find a premium page that had all of those subscriptions it actually okay. turns out that if I go to the me six server and I search for subscriptions no one's complaining about this anymore because it seems like me six might have listened they might have removed that extremely shameful subscription model and they changed it back to the normal one but here's the thing about about me six anytime there's a huge wave of hate whether it be these reddit posts my youtube videos whatever me six will listen no, but the second I mean. this news is a month old me six usually turns around and sticks with their original plan that's why ER. everything in this bot is premium i complained about it in a video they changed it back and now everything is still premium the subscription i'm complaining about it it'll probably be like this for a month and then it'll switch back to a thousand dollars for a lifetime plan and that's why genuinely couldn't you, you just buy it like in, in reality you couldn't you just buy it now and have everything or do they remove those options you have a me six subscription whether you it be yearly or monthly and you're paying for it constantly then do yourself a favor and follow their instructions cancel your subscription but if you're someone that made the grave mistake of buying a lifetime subscription with me six you already gave them your money you don't have to give them any more just use the discord bot but if you are someone that had a yearly or monthly subscription or you were thinking about buying one of these premium subscriptions don't use me six instead i'll have a website linked in the description called alternatives to me six now if you want a quick recommendation use i Dino use dino 
don't know how to use Discord. I use Dyna for everything, so I don't need to. If you're okay with tinkering around for like a couple days on a Discord bot, use Sapphire. I absolutely love that thing. But that's everything I have to say. Really, if a Discord bot is trying to increase their subscription from $90 to $1,000, you're getting screwed over as a user and you should hop ship. Anywho, bye bye. Yeah, I, I agree. You, don't buy shitty the Discord at like bots. You don't need that. You don't need to pay for a Discord bot. I screw that. Just download something free. What the, the function of a Discord bot? Like you don't need the most fancy mancy do this and that. Get Dino. Get like all the alternative. Do you don't need to do, have your Discord bot do everything for you? Uh, it's it's just completely a waste of money. Yeah, not worth it at all. Hi, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe. I'll post videos nearly every day, so if you want to watch any more reactions, feel free to subscribe and I'll see you there.